Glenn Berman, Trunks. But uh, I got to get into this right away. Uh, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest circus in the country right now is the Michael Jackson trial. It's, it is. It, I don't know if you've seen the footage, the, the news reports, the people hanging outside the courtroom waiting for the jury's verdict. It's kind of a strange scene. And we wanted to find out more about just what's happening here. And we thought, who better to send the Michael Jackson trial to give us a fair and balanced analysis. It's just an analysis of what's happening. Our good friend Triumph, the insult comic guy, we sent him, we sent him the other day, and uh, here's Triumph's report. Triumph? Here at the Michael Jackson trial in Santa Maria, California, the poopy stench of media scum is neutralized by the sweet and pungent aroma of lunacy that is the Michael Jackson fan. Yes, people have assembled from all over the world, joined together by a common disconnect with reality and absence of logic. Yes, it's pretty safe to say that they're just all wacko for jacko. Of course, until the trial is over, none of us can really know if Michael Jackson is innocent or guilty. But there is one thing we do know. He's guilty. <laughs> Do you know anyone who could get me a Michael is Innocent t-shirt? Uh, maybe. We I talked to some I, people around here, maybe. Yeah, they okay, I don't have any money, but I'll gladly trade my OJ is Innocent t-shirt <laughs> and my Ellen is Straight t-shirt. Well... I'll even throw in a Star Jones is Thin t-shirt. I'm sorry, you know? The two of us have a lot in common. We're both made of plastic and, uh, we both like the occasional hand up our ass. <laughs> So your mom came all the way from where? Albuquerque. All the way from Albuquerque to root for Michael? To root for Michael. They don't have any child molesters back there for a <laughs> Not as big as Michael. <laughs> the trial's also costing Michael a lot of money. That's what I hear, isn't it? He's not going to have any money left. I know. But thank God he still has his two most prized possessions. The Beatles catalog and Corey Feldman's underoos. Because in the overall scheme of things, who are we to pass judgment on this man? Who amongst us can honestly say that they have never slept with a 12-year-old boy after sharing some alcohol and pornography in the company of a chimpanzee? Bulgarian fans are with Michael. The only victim is Michael. He's not the only fashion victim, I can see that. Come on, cheer up. Let's sing a soft sell song together. Painted love, for do bam, bam, bam. Painted love, for do bam, bam. Have you met Michael yet? No, but I want to. Oh, well, you know, you just have to catch his eye and he'd be all over you, right? You want I a wish. nice dress, something low cut, maybe with a six year old boy on your shoulder? Oh, no, not <laughs> Would you let Michael Jackson babysit your kids? Yes, because I trust him. Damn, cool. Can I walk your poodle? <laughs> Come on. The only thing we know for sure that he molested was his nose. So Michael barely touched his nose. Did Barry Bonds take steroids? I don't know who Barry Bonds is. Did Bush lie about the WMDs? You know, people say he did. Is Richard Simmons gay? Oh, yeah. Have you been out here all this time for the whole trial? <laughs> Three months out here supporting Michael. Do you realize you could have been head movie usher by now? Who's <laughs> okay. she, Emma, Michael? Sitting there talking to this stupid dog. I can't, I can't. No comment? I don't, no comment? I don't talk to these kind of you dogs. You don't talk to dogs? <laughs> well, I understand. I wouldn't want to compromise your dignity. It's okay. I'd hide too. Uh, safely ensconced with my fellow media slime. Where's the food around here? <laughs> Cafe Diem across the street. No, who's kidding who? You reporters don't need food. You feed on human misery. <laughs> You're a reporter. I'm a reporter. You know the inside scoop. You've heard the testimony. You know what's going on. On a scale of one to ten, how old is Michael's boyfriend? <laughs> 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 
honest with you. I, I need to know. Is it Sky TV? Is that the one? Or is it's, it's the Brits. It's the Brits. It's the Brits. What's that guy's name with the ponytail? Is that the one? I think so. Go after him. Okay. Just tell me what's going on in Iraq today, you know? I mean, given everything that Bush is having to deal with, don't you think it's impossible for him to get the stem cell research bill passed? Just kidding. Do you think Michael <laughs> that kid? This is the main OG accuser and his family. Really? So see, the Brits have no shame. Oh, like you guys do. No, go away. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> oh, Mike, I'm wasting my time. Criticizing these reporters is like booing at the Special Olympics. <laughs> Let me test your knowledge of trivia. Michael trivia, I have a book here. This will be a real test of your abilities, okay? Right. See how much you know about Michael. Okay. Why was Michael Jackson once spotted at Kmart? Just looking for the best price on something. Oh. He heard boys' pants were half off. <laughs> Happened on July 12, 1994. <laughs> I've been wrongfully accused of things in the past myself. I know what it's like. I've been blamed for farts. I don't know how many times. I appreciate it. I just want you to meet my son. This is Prince Triumph the Throne. You want to stick his hand? Let me have you. Help! By help, he means Michael is innocent. Are you supporting for Michael? No. I make fun of everyone. Oh. If you could be a little bit more original, you could be somebody. Have no, you ever no, thought no. about that? Buy my DVD. No, I'll I'll no. rip it to shreds. No, no, you don't know. <laughs> that was a dude. <laughs> that was a dude. Michael is innocent. But you are a dude. <laughs> of course he's innocent. Come on, look. Would these faces lie to you? Hello. I'll be right back. I get it. Oh, okay, how about now? <laughs> look now, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! And on your side! Okay, one, two, three, here we go. I'm looking at the man! I'm going to change his ways! Look at this, it's a real Michael impersonator! This is really the thing! Wow, look at you! You've got the hair and the clothes, You've even got the same vagina. Unbelievable. Wait, this is incredible. It's a Tito Jackson impersonation. How are you, Tito? Show me your stuff. Show me, can you sing like Michael? You are not alone. Whoa! You are not alone. Do the moonwalk. Do Michael moonwalking. Incredible. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Do Michael masturbating to Home Alone. He looks just like him, yeah? It's like, like, him. It's like yeah. you want to see him sing uh, anything. Yeah? Anything, yeah. <laughs> it's like this, you have to try to keep them far away from Yeah, him. but I think Michael has had enough of this, you know. It's, it's too much for him. He's been through a lot of stress. Oh, yeah. You know, did a lot of stress. Oh, I think he cried one day on the stand. He, he cried and he came in his pajamas and then... Uh, he came in his pajamas? <laughs> you mean he arrived in his pajamas? I, I, I Choice of words. I was, here, I was here when he came in his pajamas. I was standing right here. Okay, he came in his pajamas. And he came in his pajamas. Yeah, well, that's what the uh, prosecution said. <laughs> because they are saying that he's a... He did. And he was walking real slow, I guess because he had a bad bag. Huh? You've been coming, too. Yes. <laughs> Michael came in his pants and you've been coming. Yes. He came in his pajamas. I saw him in his pajamas. Wow. The coat and then he had the pajamas. So you saw him had... come in his pajamas. Yes, right, right here in his pajamas. Wow. Okay, but there were no kids anywhere near. No, no, and I saw him with some sandals. Okay, okay, so it's not just kids that make him come in his pajamas. Okay, you think not. Okay, it's everybody makes Michael come in his pajamas. Well, not necessarily, but everybody's seen, seen him come in his pajamas. Really? I'm going to be sad when this is over. <laughs> I'll see you at the next get-together. There's the one we know next get-together. Sure, when Clay Aiken goes on a homicide spree. <laughs> Thanks
Shaw trying to take a break. We'll come back. Russell Crowe.